Now, what we're going to do, what we're going to do next is to create the content, right? So um, for, for model. Um, for this one, let me open it. So for model.py, it's nothing but it's just going to contain um, how you're going to build your model. So, so in this case, you can just do it. You can just start by just importing the various libraries that you need. You need. So maybe um, import, import NumPy, right? Import NumPy as a NP, right? And then you can just import, um, you can just import pandas as, as, as PD, right? You can do that. And then um, you can also import, right? You can just import um, whatever whatever libraries that you want, right? I've, I've already given you this, so you don't need, really need to do that, right? If you see the one we've created, right? You have all the libraries that you need, right? So SKLearn, um, Extraction Regressor, and then Trend Test Splits, right? So these are the libraries that you're going to need, and this is the code that you need, right? So you just, um, you, you're just going to load your data, right? You're just going to load your data. And then um, if you load it, you see that it's, it's just generated. If it doesn't generate this, um, column for you. I mean, sometimes since you'll be having index, right? If since you'll be having index column in your in your in your CSV file, right? It's going to generate this unnamed um, column zero over there, right? So you can just drop that. You can just drop that. Otherwise, it's going to give you some error. You can just drop that, right? If it if it doesn't generate that, there's no need to do that. So in order to see it, you can just uncomment this um, print head, right? You can see that for, I've written um, print head over here. You can just uncomment that and then you print it out so that you can actually um, see it. Okay. So in order to run this for you to see, in order to run the model dot, um, in order to run the model dot pi for you to actually see everything is working, you can just do over here. Um, you can just do Python. Then you do model model dot pi right like that right model dot pi let me actually uncomment this so that you will see some results over there okay now you do model dot pi over here then you just hit enter right so it's going to run that model dot pi for you to actually see now you see that it has loaded the data set right you can actually see let me push it up okay now you can see that it's, it's, it has actually loaded the data set for me and um, it's making the predictions as well right so you can see over here right so this is the this is the data frame that we have it has loaded it successfully and it's even making some predictions over here right it's even making some predictions over here for us okay so now if you run that and everything is working fine then it means you're good to go okay so you just um you're just going to just going to follow the same thing so i'll, I'll, I'll I'm actually going to make this one available for you. You don't need to worry yourself about that. Okay, you can, it's just a simple one. If you've done the exploratory data analysis and building the model in your Jupyter notebook, this one is just just a piece of cake to do. Okay, what you need to take note of this is just this part, right? That's the only part that you need to make sure is added to your code, right? That's the only new thing that we we did over here. Okay, so that's the content of the model dot pi. I mean, or dot dot py, right? That's that's the content of it. Now, what we're going to do, um, the next thing that you need to f um, check it out is, um, is, the, is the HTML or the, you can talk of the CSS or the HTML. So over here, I have, I have this template for you that you need to use so that you don't really, if you're not, you're not familiar with HTML or you're not familiar with um, this web development stuff, you don't need to worry yourself, right? You just um, something that you can just use it. It's just a general template that you can actually use it. So I have I have this this for you over here, right? So the thing, what are you going to do? Um, what you can edit here? Let me show you the part that you can edit, right? So I'm going to um, make this available for you. So what you can edit over here is um is this part. So you see that I'm using um title here to be total data science. You can choose any title that you want, right? So if you see the app, right? You can see this total data science over there, right? So that's the title. That's the title that um, I'm talking about, right? So um, let me go back over here. So that's that's actually the title that you can actually um, that's the title that you can actually put over here. Okay, that's the title that I'm setting over here. So you that's that's one of the things that you can actually change if you want to change something, right? So let me write it over here. Change um, change this to your preferred title okay so you can you can just you can just do that 
and then um, over here is just the font, right? The font that we, we are using. So there's no need, um, there's no need manipulating it, right? If you want to use your own font, it's fine. But I mean, just just Google font that we are using over here, right? We're using Google font um, APIs to do that. You don't actually need to worry yourself with that. Now, so what you can see over here, right? Over, what you can see over here is a source of an image, right? That's why you see IMG, right? A standing for an image, and then you have the source of it. So HTML actually uses tags, so you can see uh, tags all over, right? It just uses tags all over. So you don't need to worry yourself with the, um, the, the, the web development part if you're not familiar with this, right? So you don't need to worry yourself. I mean, just a template, a general template that you can use, as I said earlier on. Right, so I'm using um, this image over here, and I'm using the source of the image. I'm using a URL here. So this URL is um, is an image that I got from from um, from the website. So you can just use any image uh, at all. Maybe um, in this case, I just search for I just search for um, Zomato. Right, so let me I just search for see um, Zomato logo, something like that. Right? If I do this. See that I have a lot of them, so I go to images. And then um, I'll see the one that I like, right? I see the one that I like. So maybe if if I want to, maybe I want to use this, right? If I want to use this, I just click on that. So maybe this is better. So let me just use this. You could have just you could have just gotten the URL from there from Google itself, but you can also get it from here, All right? So. This is where the image image will um, resides. So I just right click on that, and then I'll copy the image address. Right, I'll just copy the image address. Then I'll go here. I'll come back here. So um, I'm going to delete what we have here already. Right? I'm going to delete that, and then I'll put this URL there. Right, and then now um, that's all. So if I run uh, my app over here, right? If I run my app app.py, right? So I'm going to run. I'm using Python, then app.py, right? That's that's what I have, right? I'm going to run this app.py over here, right? So if I if I press enter over here, right, and then um it's going to generate this for me. So note note what we have um earlier on. Earlier on, this is the logo that we have over there. Okay, this is the um this is the logo that we have. Let me get rid of this is the logo that we have, right? This is what we have over here. So we've 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 added a new logo, right? We've added a new logo. So let's see what we have. So I'm going to copy this URL that I have, right? I'm going to copy this um you see that it's it's actually run, you see that it's running on this URL. Okay. So I'm going to copy that URL and then I'll go to my browser and then paste it there. Okay, so let me copy it. All right, let me copy this and then um, I'll go here. Let me open it over here. Okay, now you see that we have a new logo there, right? So you see that we have a new one, right? You, you see that we have a new logo over here, right? At first, at first, it's, it was like this, right? Um, this, this is the first one that we have, right? We were having this one. Okay, we're having this one now. We've been able to change this one, right? We've been able to change it to um, this. You see that now we have we have this one, okay? So that's that's some of the things that you can actually change. That's some of the things that you can actually manipulate. So um, let's see what else what else you can actually do over here. So the next one, this is the first one. This is the first URL image source that you can see there. The next one, the next image that I've put here is is um is the TDS logo that you can. Um, see at the top right corner, right? So this this TDS logo that you can see over here, right? That's the next one. That's the next one that you can actually see. So let me go back here and then show you. So I have I have it here, right? So you see that um, it's actually a source. The source is actually coming from totaldatascience.com, right? So it's a TDS image that is there. So I just use that image and then I set the width. I set the height over there, right? And then the style, I set it to right. That's why you can see it to be at the top right corner, right? That's why you can see it at the top right corner. So um, that's that's what basically some of the things that you can actually change, right? That's some of the things that you can actually um, change. Now that is that is done. So now you've seen how you can do this. You can manipulate all these, right? So let's see the background itself, right? Let's see the background itself, how you can change the image at the background, right? So you can just use the same code, right? You can just use the same code. now. 
um, for the background, right, for the background, uh, what you can do, I mean, don't, don't worry yourself too much with the code, but just do the changes that I'm telling you, it's, it's actually fine. You don't need to worry yourself, I mean, with the, with the HTML stuff to learn um, HTML top down, you don't need to do that, okay? So these are just, uh, just a general template that you can actually use. Now, um, the background, this is the background part, this is the background part, okay? What, what I'm doing here is that you see that we have a um, body here, right? We have a body here inside that I have background image and then the URL of the background image, right? The URL of the background image. So I got this, um, this URL. So the image that you see at the background, right? I got that image from Pezos. So you can see the, um, the URL here. You can see we have images https and then images.pezos.com for those and then um some other 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 forward slash that you can see over there so you can go to any any other sources of the image that you want you can go to on splash you can go to pizza bay you can go to um pezos.com so if you go to say for instance pezos um if you go to let me do this it's actually pezos dot com you can actually go there right and then you search for any image that you want so over here you can search for say um something related to food right something related to food so if you do that right you see that you have um several several beautiful images that you can actually see right there are several several beautiful images that you can actually see over here right so you can just select some of them some of them that that you, that you think is actually good you can just select some of them so um, let me just choose, let me just choose any, any image over here and then go and use, All right? So, um, let's say I click on this one and then I'll, I'll right click and then copy the image address from here, right? Then I'll go back here, right? I'll go back here and then I'm going to place it here, right? This URL, right? That's the URL I'm going to replace. Okay. Can just delete it. Okay, I just delete it. Then um, I'll paste in the new one. I'll paste in the new one here. So I've, I've done control V to paste it over here. Then I'll go and run my app again. So I'm going to stop the, the one which is running, right? I'm going to use control C to stop it. Now it's, this one is stopped. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm, well, you can just, you can just, I mean, refresh the page without even stopping it from here. You can just refresh the page, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my Python app.py again. I'm going to run it again, all right? So now it's working, it's running on um, this, this, I'm going to use that, right? Or, I mean, the other thing that you could have done is, is to just refresh the page, right? You can just refresh the page. Right, so you see that now the background has changed. We have a new background image. Right? You have to see that we have a new um, background image over here. Very beautiful one, right? You need to also take into consideration the user um, interface, right? Uh, or the user experience, I mean, the, the UI part of it, or the UX, uh, specifically the, the, the experience that the user will be having interacting with your with your app, right? That the user experience, because now if you see how this is being displayed, right? If you see how this is being displayed, you can see that what you really want them to do is not actually distinguished from the background, right? It's not actually distinguished. It's quite, um, the background is nice, it's very nice, but you can see that it's actually, this one needs to stand out, right? The, 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 the main thing that you are focusing on here needs to stand out, okay? So you need to pick some background which will make that um, stand out. So let's go and then see and choose a different image over here, All right? So I'm going to go to Pezos, then um, maybe something which is a bit um, dark, right? Which will actually make the... The, 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 what we really want them to actually see to stand out. So let me, let me see this one. Let me copy the image um, address here, copy link address. Then I'll go back here. So I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to paste that link over here. Okay. So I'm going to paste it here, control V. And then um, I can now go back and then refresh the page again. So I'm going to refresh it again. Let's see. Now you see what we have. Now you can see that this one stands out better, right? This one is more beautiful than the one that we did earlier on, okay? This one actually stands out. You can see that now what you want them to really focus is standing out very nicely, okay? So you can actually use um, something that will make this one stand out. You need to also consider the user experience, right? So 
what you you, start, you want them to experience, what you really want them to um, focus on, you need to actually take that one too into consideration, right? So this is what we refer to as the UX part. So you need to make sure that the interface is actually fine for them to have a better experience, okay? So um, I think I think this part is quite clear to you how you can actually change um, this or how you can actually change. So if we've, we've learned how to change this logo, we've learned how to actually um, change this this um, this title, right? And then we've also seen how um, now what we're going to do. What we're going to do is just to to deal with this one. We've seen how to change the background as well, right? So um, this comment, I'm going to get rid of this comment. You see that change this to your preferred title is there, right? That's the comment that I added and it's being executed, right? So um, let me go here. Okay, so this is the comment that I added and it's showing over there. I don't want it to show over there. So I just get rid of that. Now, um, what we're going to do is to see how we're going to build this part, right? See how we're going to build this, um, this part also, okay? Let's see how we're going to do that part.